hello guys today i will be doing a little bit more advanced version of hello world uh, this is what i call hello world 2 and in this tutorial what uh, i will be showing you is how to make a text field a button and a label so whatever you, whatever you enter inside the text field say some name and you press the button and in the label you'll see hello hello whatever the name is so that's why it's called hello world 2 uh, let's go to xcode uh, run it up make a new project I'll make a view based application this time and call it say hello world 2 let's see hello world 2 save it in the same project well locked for editing you may not be able to save your changes unlock for some reason I created this file before so probably it's giving a problem I'll try it again new project paste I'll call it hello2 so save it here and we'll, we'll, we'll be making it using interface builder first and then we will code it up so we understand both the different different ways so initially we had just these three files in window based application now in view controller we have three extra files what it does is it calls the hello world view hello view controller inside it calls the view controller inside the inside the header file for app delegate and it says that current window has a root view controller which is self view controller so it adds the view controller on top of the window so it's pretty much doing is it's adding this view on top of hmm, top of the window so let me run it up one time so you see how it looks it looks like this a gray screen so just the gray screen that is here so now if I want to go ahead and add some elements to this what I'll do is I'll go here to go ahead and first I need a text so I'll add a text to the center let's extend it a little bit and then I'll add a button I'll say go button and then I'll add a label here and then extend the label side we don't need anything in the label right now because we'll be printing it out so once we have this now let's go and run it again and see what it shows up it shows up I think I can enter go nothing happens so close it let's go back again and now the basic functionality the main thing that should happen is printing the name or whatever text is entered in the text field uh, it should be it should print in the label so for that we need to prompt the user so we can actually go here and go to the properties of this text field and there's something called this placeholder text I can say enter your name here and it will come as a gray text below it uh, you can give set a bunch of different properties for the text field here but that's all we need for now so and now we need to tell the code that there is a text field there is a label there's a button so how do we tell the code that there are all these things in interface builders so that is specified by UI UIB outlet UI text field text field so we say there's a interface builder interface builder text field interface builder button and uh, interface builder label label and one more thing is when the button is pressed there need to be some action that is called in this code file so I will define that action as IB action since it's coming from the face builder it's called IB action and button clicked so once we have that we have defined this function in dot h but we have to implement it in dot m so I will just add it here what do I need I need label dot text equal to text field dot text so that's what we need initially uh, I'll put the uh, that's that's what we need in the first phase and then when a view is loaded the first function that is called is view did load by default like how application is first when application first launches it calls application did launching with options same similarly when the view is added to the window 
the the and the view loads up this is the first function that is called view did load so over here i don't need to enter anything right now for this one because i think everything is taken care of here so let's leave that right like that and now we have to tell the interface builder that there are some elements that are defined so you go to file owners because this view has it has a file owner which is the view controller so we go to the connections of the view controller and connect these things these things we defined in the header file they come up automatically you can just click on the plus sign next to it and connect things it will not connect to things which it doesn't understand like ui label will know what ui label is so it will click to that text field text field will not work for others so that way and then there's a button click function this should work when the go button is pressed so that is touch up inside so when you touch up touch inside the button and leave it it will call this function so that once that is done so every, all the connections are done let's run it and see if it works so enter your name I say okay Vivian go and there you go it shows up the name now I need to give hello Vivian so or hello the name whatever so we need to create a formatted text so for that we need to create a string object I say string with format and we have to give some object to it which is this object so I'll say print the text so if it's a object uh, as you can see if I say text what what is what is the text it's any string any string is object and this thing is a representation of an object so I can just say hello comma the name of the object if it was an integer I would give a percentage D or percentage I if it was a float I would have given percentage F but it's a person it's a text field so I just give percentage at the rate fill so let's run it up iPhone fires up and let's enter name again and I say go and there you go hello hello Vivian spelling mistake okay so it works now you'll say that I don't want it in interface builder I don't want to use interface builder I just want to use uh, use code it up so I'll say okay so all you need to do is remove the IB outlets uh, since there's no interface builder action do it here so now I need to do all the things that we did there which was drag and drop elements so we need to create them ourselves so how do we do that so for first field is text field equal to ui text field allocate and initialize with frame c g rect make you have to give it a frame and let's make some more space so we can see uh, frame so say 10 20 width is 300 height is 30 so this is what we gave next we said what type of text field is it what is the border border style is equal to ui text field border style rounded rect we also give a placeholder so yeah, there you go now placeholder is a string so you can just say enter your name okay. now i need to add this text field to the to the view so I will say self dot view not window this time you'll see adding it to the view so it's self dot view add sub view text field so this adds the text field to the view next I need the button so I say button equal to UI button button width type now ask me how do I know that it's button width type instead of initialize and alloc so if I go if I click alt and click on it it will show me a little bit of UI button but if I click on it it will open the documentation and I can go straight down to the tasks and I can see creating buttons is button with type creates and returns a new button of specified type so that's how I know UI button button with type uh, UI button what type of button do I want rounded direct button so I specify that I give a frame to the button I say CG rect make frame is say, x is 10 y is around 60 width is 100 height is 30 okay, so I give it that next I need to set a title 
so that is by set title set it completes the code for you don't have to write any code at all just a few basic uh, ones so which event so you uh, are con not event but state when should it? so there are different states normal state highlighted state disabled state so I want it for normal state you can have when it's disabled you can say can't click or something like that you can set different titles next I need to put the action so when it's at target so where is the target file where is the function that is called is in current class so I'll say self what is the action you call functions by saying selector so what is the name of the selector button clicked what is the control event uh, remember we did touch up inside is the same thing touch up inside next I need to add this to the view so I'll say add button what comes next is the label lbl equal to you i label allocate and initialize it with frame cg to make you go to 10 uh, 100 width is 300 height is 30 so i do that and then i say label uh, add this label to view add lbl by default the label has a white background so i would want to change that so i'll say background color is equal to I'll let make uh, let me make it transparent background so that's clear color so if i do this and run the code it should be good and working so say go oh, hello Vivian. there you go so don't have to change the function just give I just have to code the file, code the elements which we just dragged and dropped in interface builder so there are different ways to do it if you like coding it up want to know what's going on get a better handle then this is for you and if you want to just drag and drop get work done quickly then interface builder is for you but interface builder you have to remember that you need to connect between the code and the and the interface builder so it might become a little tedious sometime uh, thank you guys for watching it um, I'm done for the day here and uh, subscribe to my videos and I will post some more make some more videos thank you